Well, this is, this is uh, to make a plug uh, from which I'll take a mould and then cast the shell. Um, and then <clears throat> on that, with that, you, you build a chassis and you use donor car bits like the suspension and the engine drivetrain and whatnot, and then finish it off with interior and things like that and end up with a car. At the very beginning, I downloaded a 3D design somebody else had made of a, an Aston Martin DB4. It's pretty pretty accurate, I was quite, quite impressed. Um, from that, I, it, was, it was a complete car, so all the little internal bits as well, so I stripped all of that out until it's just a shell. Um, and then I had to modify it quite a lot because it, was, it wasn't designed to be um, <clears throat> used in the real world, so the doors weren't quite right and uh, didn't have any guttering for the, for the um, bonnets and boots and whatnot, so I had to spend a lot of time modifying that. And then, then it all has to be cut up into uh, 100 by 100 squares which is all the printer can do in any one, any one time, but you can do about five of those at once, but it, there's a lot of cutting. The object itself needs to be um, given a, sh a shell of depth, because uh, you can't just print a flat bit of plastic, it'll be too, too flexible, so I've given it five levels of depth. Uh, the printer prints it out mostly hollow, so it's about 80% hollow. It's just got a, <coughs> a spiderweb mesh inside it to keep, give it strength, but it's it's pretty strong and it doesn't use much plastic and um, it also gives you a flat face to, to glue the bits together. Well, I've tried to work this out, it's, it's a rough estimate, but um, I think there's about 500 prints. On average there's about five in each print, so there's about two and a half thousand. It's, it's quite a big jigsaw puzzle. Well, they're connected to each other just with uh, just regular ABS model glue. Um, it, the bond is stronger than the, the plastic itself, so it's, that's strong enough. Um, I had to make a framework for it because uh, if, you, if I just tried to glue the plastic together it might be warped or distorted or whatnot so I had to, I had to keep it true by making a, making a basically a wood framework for it. Uh, same, same goes for all the doors and the, the bonnet and the boot, they've all got an underground wooden framework to it to give it a bit of strength. I'll see, I'll see how much effort this goes into it but so far it's been quite, quite good. The printing part, I mean it's, it's, it takes about an hour or a week to prepare the prints for that week. Um, just click a button in the morning, click a button at night, it goes away and prints for the next seven or eight hours. And then you just glue it together, it's like a big model. So um, it's been quite fun actually. So I probably, if I, if I was to do another car, and I probably will, um, I'd probably use the printer again.